Good morning. I'm Ida Norris and this is Lilith TL. We're here today to talk to you about getting ready for online showing. And we're going to show you an English, you know, dressage pack check. But first I wanted to talk to you about a few of the other details that are involved with online showing. First of all, you're required to have a sign. And that sign needs to be inside of your video, i.e. on it. It doesn't mean tacked on afterwards. It's not the title of it um, in the YouTube channel. It's right here in the video and we have to be able to read it. The reason for that is that we do not want you to take this tape and show it in another show in front of another judge. So this has to be in the videotape, not tacked on, and there can be no cuts in your video. So here's a sign that I've made, and this is what it looks like. So when you go to do this, you turn on your PIVO, or you get your person um, started with the camera, and the person can hold this up in front of the video, but because I'm using a PIVO, and you may have to do that too, you can just step right in here to the camera, get it right up close. Remember that the camera is going to be focusing on your horse, so keep your horse behind the camera and behind the sign. Possibly adjust the sign a couple times, be sure the thing can see it, leave it there a long time. So, the sign has to say your horse's name, your name, and it has to say the competition name. So whatever online organization like Vermont Dressage Association that you're riding for, it says Vermont Dressage Association and summer show your name, your horse's name at the test level of the test that you're going to ride so that the judge can immediately say, Oh, I have the wrong test sheet in front of me. Maybe you're riding intro three and they have training in front of them. So this is what this is for and this is what this is about. I am going to show you a technique that if you're using a remote and um, you need to be mounted because you don't want to get up in front of the judges, I'm going to show you how to just sidle up to the camera and get this and put it down. Once I do that, I'm going to put this down on a barrel and then I'm going to show you a center line with a halt and come forward and talk you through the tack check. So right now I'm going to show you how to be mounted up and get this up in front of the camera, back off off your PIVO uh, and get the PIVO to focus on you again. And then we're going to look at a quick center line with a halt and a salute. Keep in mind your salute has to be quite visible to the judge. And uh, then we're going to walk right through that tack check for you. So hang on for a minute. Thanks. So Once you're sure your PIVO is following you, then you step up right up to the camera with the horse close and the sign between you and the horse because the PIVO is focused on the horse. And then it's on the sign and then kind of sidestep away from the PIVO, watch that it keeps following you. And if it's following you, we're set to go. When you're finished with your test, this is when you begin your tack check. One of the things that the PIVO has to see 
or the camera or the video person needs to show is that there's no spur marks on the horse and that they can see what kind of a spur I have on both sides. So I'm going to turn the horse slowly around letting the camera look at this so that uh, whoever's judging this can see very clearly what kind of tack I have on. And I walked ahead in case they can't see her feet, so I have to think about that. Now I'm going to sidestep over just a little bit so that they can get a good look at this fur also and the side of her. And then hold my foot still and let them look at the fur. And my hand moving towards my fur sometimes helps the camera focus. Now at this point I'm going to get down. So at any point now somebody can come in and help you with this. If you're concerned about having a halter on your horse while you drop the bridle, absolutely cool. Someone can come and help with this. You just have to get down. The riders have to get down before you drop the bit. Now what you have to show the camera really close up is things like her nose band is not tight. I can get four fingers in there. Her chain is laying flat. I can get plenty of fingers in there. Uh, it's con it's uh, correctly adjusted because the curb doesn't engage until 45 degrees from her lips is where your curb is supposed to engage. That's correct for her. It's not too loose. It's not too tight. This is great. You can get plenty of room in there. So you've shown them how the bridle fits while it's on her. So the next part is that we're going to, before I take the bridle off, I'm going to show them the inside of the cavison, which has to be pretty close. Step up here. Step up here. And I'm turning it right backwards on her face. They can see it's all nice and flat. It's a padded cavison. Back up. Uh, right now, the camera should be able to focus on her leg. And she's barefoot. She has nothing on her leg. At this time, uh, I decided to show my horse exactly the way it would be legal if she went in a USCF live show. You need to read every single on-site website to see what it says. Some of them allow polo wraps for your dressage horse. If that's so, you need to be sure the polo wraps show up really well and that you can see them. Now I'm going to step over here and get a halter. And if you have a concern that the horse will get away from you, you can have help. Someone can come in and do this with you. I have to remember to take everything off because I'm talking to you. There we go. Slip it out of her mouth. And slip on her halter. Good girl. Good girl. Like that cookie. Good girl. Okay. So, this bridle has to come really screwed close up to the camera. Once again, if you're using a Pivo, it's going to focus on the horse. So put your tack between the camera and the horse so that it focuses. So right now, you can hold up your cavison, kind of spread out your bits, and they can see that I've got a single snaffle verdun. I've got kind of a regular uh, curb. They want to see how long the curb is so I hold my hand uh, down the length of it so that they can see that. You need to turn your bits backwards that are back to back to the camera so they can see both sides. They can see the chain. They can see the reins. So we've pretty much covered the bridle. So that's good. So.
on. Let's talk about clothes for a minute. Most of the websites say that you can wear clinic attire, and I'm wearing a sun shirt with sleeves, breeches, tall boots. You need your legal boots, you need your helmet. Um, I would recommend shirts with sleeves. Uh, right now, some organizers are allowing shirts without sleeves, but it's never a good safe idea and some of them say that you need a shirt with some kind of a sleeve so even a short sleeve if it's hot makes quite a difference hey sweetie i would recommend that to be within safe parameters because you never know how picky the judge is going to be that's deciding on your tax check if you have any questions at all you need to go to the website of the group that you're going to compete in front of and check what their rules are saying and they'll have very clear rules on the website. If there's any other question, if you present your horse as it would be legal for a USDF live show, if you're like this, I'm legal to go just the way I was in a live show, then I know that I'm legal. So if there's any questions, uh, strip off anything that wouldn't be allowed at a regular competition and put on your show clothes if you have to. So show clothes are always allowed, clinic attire is allowed. T-shirts are out, so those are not a normal regular shirt um, to be used for riding. So t-shirts are out and I would recommend wearing a sleeve. There is something else to talk about today. My hat is correctly adjusted. This is snug to my chin and my brim is level like a baseball hat and this is a safety approved helmet however anytime at a live show or anytime online that we see a hat that has the strap un not not closed or so loose that it doesn't engage at all this is illegal and you will be eliminated uh, because it's not safe you shouldn't be riding with it and it's one of those things they're not going to let this go the other problem is hats that are adjusted and put on like this they tip upward the brims tip upward even if the straps on when the chin is uh, loose and or the hat is backwards if you should fall this will break your neck it's really unsafe so this kind of hat adjusted like this tipped back or the strap loose is an elimination immediately even online we've pretty much covered the tack check for the moment but i did want to say to you if you have a minute review the salute that I did here in this video for you. I held my arm out at about 45 degrees instead of hanging it limply down. When a rider puts their hand limply down, if the horse turns its head even two or three degrees, or um, I'm wearing black and I'm wearing black and I'm wearing black gloves and the camera doesn't zoom in, the judge may or may not be able to see your salute. So a correct salute is you're holding your reins you put your reins in your left hand your right hand goes out and you can see the air under my arm it's a very clear salute it's very elegant and your arm back on with your nod and you go forward and this makes a very very good salute easily seen online as well as much appreciated live so keep that in mind if you're looking for some help with salutes I'm attaching um, two YouTube videos there's one how to make an elegant salute and that's on my YouTube channel Ida Norris um, dressage Ida Norris dressage.com and Ida Norris dressage YouTube channel there's also one on how to improve your center lines to help you get really straight, really square center lines and get eights or above every time for yourself. 
you want to uh, capitalize on those opportunities whenever you can. I hope you help, found this helpful. Keep in mind that um, if you have any questions at all, you can always contact me. The organizer of your competition is there to answer questions and their websites are full of helpful information and a lot of these links that I'm talking about in case you need a chance to review things before you start. I'm looking forward to seeing you online. I'll be sitting there behind the computer, so imagine me behind C. I'm smiling and I'm saluting at you and I've got tens to give. Come on and join in. We'd love to have you. Thanks. Bye.